Hello, welcome to the second lecture of virtual instrumentation. And in this lecture, we will discuss lab view. So, our basic objectives in this lecture will be discussing about lab view, different different terms. What are the components? We will introduce the lab view functions. We will create a application in the lab view, and then we will work with arrays, clusters, structures, and loops. Let us see some basic function. LabVIEW programs are called the virtual instruments. So, like in textual based programming language, we write some commands and we compile it and run the program. Similarly, we write some programs in LabVIEW also. As it includes some virtual blocks to be programmed and connected to each other, wired. We call these programs as virtual instruments. LabVIEW programs are composed of two basic components. One is a front panel and other is a block diagram. Front panel is generally used for user interface which contains some indicators output like graphs and it has some controls inputs to change the value of some parameters or to control the settings. These indicators and the control inputs are connected at the back end side. That connection is generally seen in the block diagram using these wires. Different different color wires signifies different types of data as in integer type of data character, string, boolean, etc. So, these particular indicators and the control inputs are connected with each other using these wires. We will see in future how can we connect this. So, for as of now, we will just understand we have two basic components of the program that is front panel consisting of the controls and indicators, the block diagram that contains the program which connects those indicators and controls and has the logic. So the block diagram is having the main logic of our application. Let us look more deep into our VI front panel. We have a front panel toolbar which have different different buttons to run the program, to run in continuous mode, stop and pause. It shows the font size. Uh, we can write some text boxes here it is for that uh, application and then further we have some more function we have the icon in the right hand corner upper side we have some boolean controls like a switch power on and off we have an indicator here waveform graph we can uh, add some plot legends uh, which can include the axis name and the range also we have the scale legend of this graph, graph legend, etc. So, this front panel, what was showing a graph, has the programming of the logic and the behind for temperature averaging. The program looks like this. We have some uh, sub programs also, sub functions you can say, which is creating some temperature uh, randomly, and this value is added up here using this uh, divide function and compound addition function and we are dividing it by 3 uh, for the averaging and then we are displaying it on the temperature graph what we have seen on the front panel. The boolean indicator button is for starting and stopping the program anywhere wherever required. So it is uh, inside a while loop. We will see how while loop will work, but as of now, we are just focusing uh, what all things are included in the block diagram. Express VIs are the functions, these are some interactive uh, VIs. VIs just stands for the programs which are already available in the libraries of LabVIEW. Uh, we have configurable dialog page for so for Express VI. We have some standard VIs like uh, addition, subtraction, these are standards. You cannot uh, change them 
but we can make them in modular form and we can customize by wiring in the functions okay functions look like the multiply function express vi has a dialog page open up like this okay standard vi's has a program inside it like this and the function have just connector input and it gives us the output like multiply function so for the front panel window uh, we have different different control palettes like if you want to add boolean button we have the boolean palette here we can get numerical controls here we can add boolean indicators as leds we can add uh, numeric indicators as a uh, uh, indication needles we can have graph indicators and so on we can also add some text controls also whereas in the block diagram we will get the function palette from where we can add some analysis function we can add some arithmetic or comparison function and so on so function palette we will get on block diagram control palette we will get in the front panel window tool palette is just to change the function of the mouse cursor we're showing hand we have operating tool we have arrow for positioning or resizing tool we can have big point tool color copy tool shortcut menu tool and wiring tool wiring tool is important because we will need it to connect our front panel indicators and controls with each other so generally if we click on this bar or the tool automatic selection tool will be switched on so it will automatically switch to different different wiring tools or the scrolling tools or the positioning tools by itself the status toolbar the buttons have this function we have run button the second is a run continuous button if you want to continue again and again run our program in a infinite loop we can uh, use this button it will run again and again and to abort that execution we have the abort execution button we can pause and we can continue similarly we have some text settings to align object distribute reorder or resize the front panel more of the buttons are added uh, here like we have step into button it will step one by one into the program and if you want to skip over any step then we have step over button if you have to come out of a loop then we have step out button how to open and run a virtual instrumentation so in the uh, start menu uh, we will open the ni lab view virtual instrumentation where it will launch the lab view and the dialog box will appear it will ask for to create a new project or it will ask to open a example you can find some examples and you can open that or you can create a new vi when you create a new vi uh, you will get a completely blank object and then we can add some uh, controls or indicators into that using the control palette we will right click on the front panel and we will get that control palette and we can drag and drop the numeric or string or the boolean whatever required so here we have taken two numeric input and we have taken two numeric output indicators so this uh, will how our front panel will look like a and b are the two input and uh, we will get an output a plus b and a minus b here and when we double click on a particular control then it will take us directly to the block diagram it has a correspondingly value in the block diagram also so we have a variable and b variable what we have on the front panel a and b similar these are linked to that value whatever the value will be changed that value will be fed to this box and will given to the function so we have taken two values uh, a value is going into addition function and b value is going into addition function the function is adding and it is given to the indicator and this indicator terminal is linked with the a plus b indicator in the front panel so this linking will show us the result of a plus b in the output front panel similarly a minus will be seen in the front panel 
to connect this wiring suppose we have a uh, subtraction function here it will show two inputs and it will show one output so the two inputs have to be connected to the numeric input itself because only the numbers can be subtracted otherwise it will can may show some error and uh, the output terminal will be connected to the indicator if we do not connect any of that input or output it will again show the error right so this you can uh, make this uh, terminals visible and you can label them also and uh, you can uh, right click and you can take a help of context and it will show how to connect uh, two variables and what uh, output should be taken out and here the orange uh, indicates that the values are completely in numeric form or integer type so wiring whenever you take your mouse near to that terminal it will uh, come as a black hotspot uh, you can click on wire to select and then click on the other terminal to finish that wiring okay automatic uh, wire routing can also be used uh, if you have messed up all the wires here and there you can just click on the you know, right click clean up wire and it will make it clean and the wires will be visible very cleanly automatically it will be uh, ordered up so uh, what type of programming is the lab flow it is a data flow type of programming that means uh, block by block will be executed if uh, one block is not executed the output will not reach to the other block and uh, further it will not give any output at all so it is uh, you can say a sequential form of programming also depends on the flow of data so the block diagram does not execute left to right okay. node execute when the data is available from all input terminals so uh, i can say the value from left to right will be flowing there is a data flow from left to right side this node supply data to the output terminals when it is done we have seen how we can take the help option by right clicking and in the menu we have a context help or in the main menu also we have a context help also we can press ctrl h we have some online references we can double click on the function it will open up the context help also a sub vi is a similar to a function what we use in textual based programming mm. So, like a main function, we can call some function by reference or by values. Similarly, in our main VI, we can call sub VIs. So, the sub VIs are the programs that can be used in another VI, and it is similar to a subroutine or a function. Advantages are it is modular, it helps to debug in an easier way, and we need not to recreate the code again and again, and requires less memory. so these are the sections of sub vi this is a sub vi and so sub vi we double click and open it up we will again get a front panel and the block diagram so in the front panel we will have some controls uh, the indicators values will be given and the block diagram will contains the programming part of that sub vi so we can have some nodes icon is similar to like this we can expand it by dragging and we can expand more by more dragging and we can see all the inputs and all the outputs in the sub vi blue field designates that is in it is an express vi yellow field designate a standard vi and uh, function is uh, does not exist by any of the things it is a general vi now it can be icon can be seen like this uh, represented in a vi and the connector terminal can be in the orange form for data transfer this is another example of sub vi we are using a temperature here a sub vi we are using a wait until next millisecond multiple sub vi these are the hardware which can be connected to the lab view we can pull them deck cards and there are a large variety of industrial deck cards as well as educational deck cards and this helps to interface sensors have to take data to the computer it will automatically convert into a digital form and it will be seen on the your computer screen